A lot of people keep looking to buy affordable category 55 inches 4K smart Google TV at a reasonable price, right? Maybe say around like under 40,000 rupees. You people came to the right video. Today in the house, we have a brand new TV from iSense. Just launched today in the Indian market, guys. It's their all new Tornado 3.0 A7K 4K Google TV and comes at a very reasonable price tag. 55 inch variant TV costs only around like 39,999 and packs like crazy next level features. First of all, it's a Google Google TV, you are getting Dolby Vision support, Dolby Atmos is also there, front firing speakers powered by JBL with up to 61 watts of output and lots of gaming related features as well like 120 hertz high refresh rate is there, auto low latency mode, VRR support, EARC is also there. So I am like very excited to unbox and see how it actually performs in the real world. So without wasting any more time, let's get started with the video. Our brand new Hisense A7K series TV came in this sort of box packaging, as mentioned just now it's a 4k google tv they're all new 2023 model just launched today in the market available in different sizes today in the house we have the 55 inch variant and packs so many features and specifications on board so quickly getting started with the unboxing at the top you have tv stands these are your slim blade design stands and they're made of plastic keeping that aside yes you're also getting a wall mounting bracket included in the package and an accessory packet is also there which includes a main squad for the tv two triple a batteries and this one is your tv remote guys very nice it's a smart remote with voice assistant feature and kind of looks very similar to the one you get with the e7k series and lastly you have some paperwork and a couple of installation screws for the stand that's it these are all the accessories we got in the package now let's finally take out the tv unpack it and let me give you like a first hands-on and impressions there you go our brand new hisense tornado 3.0 a7k 4k google tv looks nice right what i'll do is i'll quickly set it up use it for a couple of days and then be right back to continue the video Setup and installation was super simple over here guys, walk in the park I'd say. So I've been using this TV for almost a week now and there are so many points I'll be talking about in this video. I'll be sharing my complete experience and feedback on this model. So make sure to watch it till the end, especially if you're like planning to buy this model. First of all, let's talk about the design and the build quality. Hisense Tornado 3.0 A7K is their all new 2023 model and it's a 4K Google TV guys, available in different sizes. Today in the house, we have the 55 inch variant and coming to the design part, Nobody would actually believe that it's an affordable 39,999 rupees TV guys. I mean look at that design over there. It's got a very premium look and feel and the display kind of looks like a floating panel because there is no visible bezel over here. It's like three sided nearly bezel-less design. The border that you're actually seeing is the back body of the TV. There is no literally physical frame over here guys. Kind of looks very cool. On the bottom you do have a bit of chin but again that is not your bezel guys. It's a dedicated sound system. As I've told you audio over here is like quite special it's got front firing stereo speakers and the sound is powered by jbl it's literally like a sound bar attached at the bottom of the tv and that too complemented by a very premium look and feel you're having like a chamfered sort of design with a premium silver bezel all around it high sense logo on the right side and says tornado on the left there's nothing much at the center you just have like a tiny status led indicator and a power button just below that now coming to the stand stands are also quite unique you're getting like slim blade design in a gunmetal grey sort of finish. So that was about the front look and area and having a look at the back profile here's how the TV's backside looks like. Clean, minimalistic and built quality of the TV is also very nice. 70% of the TV is covered in like metal body and 30% has like a polycarbonate back cover. Connectivity ports are present towards the central area at the backside so that might be slightly difficult if you wall mount the TV. Let me give you like a closer look at the TV and talk about all the available connectivity ports on this model. You get two Two USB ports to connect some pen drives or external storage devices. Three HDMI ports are there but only one of them supports EARC and you also have like a 3.5mm headphone jack available, antenna port is there, digital optical out is also available and lastly Ethernet LAN port is also there. And over here at the back side you have the AV in port and on the other side this is where you can easily connect your main squad, your AC in. Moving on, let's talk about the software, UI, built-in apps and features. What I'll do is I'll give you like a closer look at the home screen and show you the operating system over here. So basically, as I've told you, it's a Google TV and you might have seen so many Android and Google TVs in the recent times, right? Similar sort of UI experience you're getting over here and the TV runs on Android version 11 out of the box. So everything seems like pretty much up to date. On the home screen, you can check out the For You section which shows lots of content and recommendation as per your taste and preferences once you log in with your Google 
Google account on this TV. So there are like plenty of options over here guys and there you go this is your apps section. You've got plenty of OTT related apps almost like every OTT app is available Amazon Prime Video, Netflix, Disney Plus Hotstar, Sony apps everything is available and not only this you can even download so many more apps from Play Store and also access like a couple of games as per your interest. And talking about the performance part it's powered by quad core CPU and overall performance has been nice navigating through the whole UI opening and closing of apps transitions everything were like smooth and I didn't face any sorts of lags or stutters and was offering like a really good performance for this price point. So let me quickly open up the settings and show you what sort of picture settings are available over here plenty of picture settings and customizations are possible you can adjust the backlighting brightness contrast saturation and not only that going into the expert settings you can even adjust things like gamma level color space and these sort of stuff plus remember at the beginning I've told you that it's a special TV and supports 120 Hertz high refresh rate you can enable that from the expert settings over here simply enable this high refresh rate and instant game response and BAM that's it you're all good for gaming as well we'll come to the gaming performance and talk about that at a later part so that's it about the software section and before we directly talk about the picture and sound quality let me just quickly open up YouTube Netflix play some demos just first have a look at them and then we'll continue this video to be educated but I'm so frustrated hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss take me back to be more than new rewind take it out of cue innocence can be a young man's game signed up for the hall of shame I wish I knew So before we talk about the picture quality, first of all, keep in mind that it's an affordable category, 55 inches, 4K Google TV, costing only around like 39999 So don't compare it with like premium or super expensive TVs. It doesn't make any sense. For this price point, it was actually quite impressive, especially the specs over here. I mean, you're getting 55 inches, 4K resolution, high refresh rate, 120 Hz support, EARC is there, auto low latency mode, VRR, and it's a Google TV on top of that. Couple of years ago if you wanted a TV with these sort of features now it would have costed easily minimum 1 lakh rupees. In 2023 competition has gotten so high that you're getting all of this for 39999 guys. It's kind of crazy I would say. Anyways picture quality is great over here. There's good amount of detail. 4K resolution at 55 inches. Everything looks crisp and clear no matter what sort of content you're watching. And talking about the colors colors are also very nice. Now the brand hasn't specified anywhere about the panel but based on my usage I I think it's an IPS panel guys and it was producing like beautiful colors. The color accuracy, color reproduction, everything were on point and I didn't have to tweak with the picture settings a lot. So that's a good thing. I was using it mostly in the standard picture setting only. And if you talk about the contrast levels and black levels, uh, I'd say they were kind of average. But again, for this price point, it's quite acceptable. You cannot complain much. And if you come to the brightness levels also, brightness was also like quite sufficient guys. Around 450 nits of brightness. So even if you're using this TV in your living room with lots of windows and you know like ambient lighting nothing to worry about you can easily view the panel and viewing angles are also like really good thanks to that IPS panel 178 degrees wide viewing angle and coming to the HDR performance HDR performance is also like pretty decent it supports Dolby Vision HDR 10 plus support is there HLD support is there so I actually had a blast watching web series or movies on Netflix with HDR guys keeping all that aside you might ask about the upscaling quality also surprising the TV does have 4K upscaling for this price point. So even if you're watching low resolution content, maybe like 720p content from your set-top box, nothing to worry about. It does a decent job for the price point. And yes, MEMC Smooth Motion is also available with a couple of different modes to choose from, like Standard, Clear and Smooth, which when enabled adds artificial frames in between the video and produces a smooth sort of content. You know, just like a soap opera show. And not to miss out, you're also getting some special gaming related features which will come there 
in a moment and finally coming to the audio part at the beginning only i've told you audio is special over here you're getting front firing speakers and the sound is powered by jbl so it's basically like a 2.1 channel setup over here two front firing speakers are there just below the panel and at the back is where you have a dedicated subwoofer and the total thing can produce around like 61 watts of output and let me tell you audio quality was like really awesome over here no i'm not exaggerating you people have to check out the sound audio demo in reality and you'll like really appreciate like are bapre how good it is compared to your regular tvs there's good amount of detail all the dialogues were like clearly audible and the sound stage was also decent plus since you're getting like a woofer at the back side the overall sound tone had a nice warm and mellow feel with a bit of bass also felt like i was using a dedicated sound bar over here and i'm literally telling you do you don't need like an external sound bar if you have this sort of setup it was like plenty and more than enough for home purpose unless you're planning for like a dedicated 5.1 kind of real true home theater system right this will get your job done and you'll be like quite happy and lastly coming to the gaming side tv offers some really good gaming related features first of all you're getting hdmi 2.1 support auto low latency mode is there variable refresh rate Plus, it also has like a special high refresh rate mode, which when enabled will give you 120 hertz refresh rate. It's very easy to do that. You just need to go into your picture settings, go to the expert section tab, simply enable this instant game response and high refresh rate mode. This will let you experience a buttery smooth gaming experience on this model. But thing is, this 120 hertz high refresh rate is available at 1080p resolution only. At native 4K resolution, you'll only get around like 60 hertz refresh rate. Still fair enough for the price point auto low latency mode and vrr switch on automatically when you connect a compatible gaming console like ps5 to the proper hdmi port and overall gaming experience was nice and satisfactory as you can see i played a couple of games like spider-man assassin's creed and was like quite enjoying the experience over here well, that is pretty much it, our video on Hisense all new Tornado 3.0 A7K 2023 series. It's a value for money 4K Google TV with great features for the price point. Available exclusively on Flipkart with a special launch price offer of 39999 for the first 7 days. Also, the brand is offering 4 years of comprehensive warranty if you buy this TV within the first 7 days of the launch. Regular warranty is around 2 years. So that's it, I hope you all enjoyed watching the video and got to know full information on this product make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos and i'll see you all in my next one